everyone, it's Caitlin here and welcome back to the AFI How To Lab. If you're joining us for the first time, thanks for tuning in and be sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out how to up your potpourri game. Everyone knows about potpourri. It's a fragrant mix of dried flowers, fruits, and spices. They have a very strong scent, but they're not always suited for everyone's taste. That's why I put a modern twist on the classic potpourri and I've added some aroma beads. You've definitely seen these beads here on our channel before. They have lots of uses in the world of fragrance and I'm gonna show you one today. To make crystal potpourri, you'll want to scent your beads first. There are a lot of places online where you can find these aroma beads at varying prices. I buy mine in bulk to save money and so I always know that I have some on hand. To know how much you'll need, you'll just have to figure out what size jar you'll be putting them in. In my case, I've got an eight ounce mason jar here. Because the beads are solid, I won't be able to fit eight ounces of beads into the jar. To know how many beads you'll need, just fill the jar until it's full and you'll have all of the beads that you'll need without doing any math at all. All right, so I've got all of my beads here and I'm just gonna add them to a mixing bowl so I can scent them. The best part about these crystal potpourri jars is that you can customize them with any scent that you want without being limited to floral or spicy notes. I'm going for a fresh and feminine scent, so I'll be using our Sweet Bliss fragrance oil. These beads can hold up to 20% of their weight in most fragrances, but this can vary based on the thickness of your oil. For my particular fragrance, I'll be using a percentage of about 12%. Add it straight into the beads and stir it until it's evenly mixed. After weighing out my beads, I found out there's about five ounces in total. So about 0.6 ounces of fragrance oil gives me my 12% fragrance load. Up next, you'll need to choose some dried flowers or spices to add to the jar. I suggest picking ingredients that match your fragrance oil. Dried citrus fruit slices go great with both fruity and spicy scents alike. If you have a floral scent, try out different dried flowers like rose, blue corn flower, and calendula petals. Speaking of, that's exactly what I'm using. I love the way that each color looks together. There are no rules on how you should layer your ingredients in the jar, but I like to break up each layer of beads with a different color flower. So start with a layer of beads and it can be as thick as you want. Now we're going to top this layer off with flower petals or spices or whatever you're using. Then we're going to add another layer of our beads. And then we'll continue this process until the jar is full. I love how the clear aroma beads make the colors of the petals really pop. It's really easy to create lots of different designs using this method. Make sure to top off these jars with some kind of slotted lid that will allow the fragrance to evaporate into the air. Over time, the beads will absorb the fragrance oil and continue to emit a wonderful smell. After a couple weeks when the scent fades, top it off with another ounce of fragrance to continue to enjoy the potpourri. I would retail this eight ounce jar for $10 because it cost me about $3 to make. For wholesale pricing, I would price them around $5. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of our how to's. If you have any questions, leave them down below and we'll get back to you right away. Head on over to our channel for more videos just like this one and I'll see you guys over on our socials. Bye for now.